23-year-old setter will start off this battle. Porn Porn was the MVP of the 2006 Thai Denmark Super League and the MVP of the 2015 uh, CH7 Championship and the best setter of the 2015 Asian Club Championship. They'll go for that left wing attack and the shot over there is good for Sitirak Onuma. Onuma so far has 48 spikes, two blocks, four service points, a total of 54 here in this tournament. Port Pun with the service goes to the back left there where Kim Yong Kun was. Back set reverse there and that was denied. Kim Yoon Kung has scored three blocks heading into this tournament. And I'm sure she's gonna quickly set the pace here, but first a service from Yang Hyo Jin. That goes over to the left side with a quick shot right there for a kill. Scored that for Malika. Kanton Malika has 43 so points so far in this tournament heading into this battle and they'll go to their best option over the blocks there for the shot of Kim Yong Kun from the back. That back row attack won't work but let's see Kim Yong Kun. Great angle off of that shot for Korea's second point. And already you can feel the intensity between these two teams. The Koreans have actually won each of their last 11 meetings against Thailand since a 3-2 defeat at the 2007 Asian Championship. And she could be the one to set the pace and bring back what they've done in 2007 after a good reception right there from that back row. It was a great attack from Kongyot Achcharaporn. An unfortunate error from the service area. That was by Tata earlier. Number six best setter, that was Kim Yong Kun. She's got six service aces and she couldn't put that ball up after Aj and sets it down with authority. You have a feeling that that sideline is going to be working a lot with both coaches. Working hard early in this game to try to get a good rhythm going for each squad. Cross court, good up there by... A ball will be for the favor after Onuma sets it over. Here's Pun Pun with a dump set rather. And she gets a point here for Thailand who leads by two. They're going to let that sail out, but there was already a touch there from the front row. Kim Soo Ji in the service area for Korea. She's had five service aces here in this tournament. Right now, they're going to try to joust it over Plum Jit. Getting that one over and they set it for the right side. Ball still alive. Good blocking right there by Plum Jit, but that one was wide. Kim Hee Jin. Will get that point, win that point for Korea, who sends back Kim Soo Ji. That service is really tough to manage. And they're going to let that go. Good decision making on the part of Thailand to let Park Jong Az cross court shot sail wide for Thailand's sixth 
as Ashtra Rapuorn is on the line. She's the seventh best scorer here in this tournament, scoring 60 points so far. And Ashtra Rapuorn just out of reach from that attack over there. So we take a look at how Kim Hee Jin went through Sitarak Onuma. Played for the Korean national team in the 2012 London Olympics where they finished fourth in the 2014 Asian Games. So she's an Asian Games champ, which she claimed that in charm. With the dump over, Ashura Porn has been a target as of late right here. And for Park Jun Ah, she can continue to take advantage of that spot right there and also penetrating the wall that Plumjit is capable of doing. Plumjit is the fifth best blocker in this tournament of service. A is one of, I'm sure, many that Korea is absolutely capable of doing, and this is already our first technical timeout. And again, they go to Aj Sharaporn that time, who misread that shot. Five attack points for each, a block and a service point, though, for Korea. The attack points on the Korean side have come from He Jin Kim, two from her, two from Jung Oh Park, and also Yun Kung Kim contributing here for Thailand. You have also five, two coming from Ashtara Born. Malika Kantong contributes one. Onuma Seterak and Pon Pun Gwit Park also with one apiece. Kim He Jin in that service area. And she gets a point off of the blockers right there, whom she challenged with that strong swing. Sitarak Onuma scoring the 30-year-old outside hitter from Thailand. Makes it just a one-point game. Plumjit with that service to the back left. And off, off of Kantong Malika, who couldn't put a handle on that ball with this beautiful spin. Good setup job right there by Lee Hyo Hee. A good finish by Kim Soo Ji. From that back row, off of the defenders also, you see how strong and how high she can soar. When she goes up for that approach, tough to beat, finding the seam of Kim Yong Kun and the defense as well of Yang Hyo Jin. They whiff it over. Korea preparing for another Onuma attack. Good dig right there by number 13, Park. Good job by Panoy. Get a load of Kim Hae Run. Oh, the blocking. This roof on fire right here for Thailand. But first, take a look at how these heroics have played out from the Korean side. But in the end, it's the blocking of Kat Dao, who's number four in uh, our uh, run for best blocker. That one, though, threw over on the left side of Thailand. Couldn't control and couldn't put a stop on Kim Hee Jin's attack. Kim Hee Jin has 32 spikes heading into this tournament. Meantime, that service, a goal. Get down the middle earlier, dumps it over the shot over. Kim Hee Jin again with so much power from the back row. They win this point and stretches their lead to two. Hitting off the edge of Sudarak Onuma. Yang Hyo Jin. 
Malika there off of the blockers scores a new for Thailand, breaking also into twin digits with that powerful hit. Onuma, MVP in the 2013 Thai Denmark Super League Athlete of the Year in the 2012 Seven Champort Awards. And she's a bemedaled athlete who provides ample support for this squad right here. That shot from the left front, no go, too strong for Aj Chadaporn. The senior stateswoman, Lee Hyo Hee. That service earlier, they'll go it, set it over. Hyo Hee with the setup job. Good dig earlier, but Sitirak, they'll put it away. Nook Jang Tatao making a good account of herself here in this first set. As we take a look back on the action and swipes it off Kim Yoon Kung. From the middle. The blockers right there, they're through the double coverage. Kim Yoon Kung will go again from that left front. Again, that tough wall that Thailand was building fell as Kim Yoon Kung swings it over to the other side, stretching Korea's lead 13 to 11 through Plum Jit, who's in the top five in terms of blocking in this tournament. A strong service right there. They send that over. Soft dig, good dig right there by Thailand's Kanton. And if you take a look at how that error, or rather how that miscalculated shot right there was answered by brilliant blocking by Korea, followed by this wonderful service from Kim Yoon Kong. This has put them in a 15 to 11 lead against Thailand. Service ace earlier from Yoon Kung to lead 15 to 11, and they've been scoring in succession again. And that will uh, have Thailand go back with a renewed perspective to try to put a stop on the scoring binge. Kim Yoon Kung back in that service area. She's now scored seven serves, I believe, in this tournament. That ball just sent over. Here's the setup job for the left front. And they find an open spot on that back right. And that'll be the second technical timeout. Now Korea easily cruising to it with a shot right here coming from Park Jong Ah. 16 to 11 for Korea for this technical timeout huddle. <laughs> Korea is an FIVB regular, World Cup regular. They've had 11 appearances since 1973 where they won a bronze. They did that again in 1977. They also have 10 appearances in the World Championships under their belt. They've been doing that since 67. They've acquired two bronze medals there. And of course, they look forward to improving with this squad that you see right here, the WOQT. They've had nine Olympic appearances, looking for their 10th. They've won a bronze in 1976. The last one in 2012, they placed fourth. Ball still live. They'll go to Aj Chadaporn. Good up by Kim Yong Kun. They'll set it up in front, finding that open spot. And they do it as Porn Pun Good Part, not being able to control that. Neither did Plum Jit, was able to chase that down. With Korea now extending and stretching their lead, another 
brilliant serve right there to the right back with now at Shadaporn throwing it down. With that force for the cut shot. Kantong Malika serves it over to Park Jung Ah, who goes up. Good dig right there by Panoy. Or that rider, Wana. Wana's on the floor. And they'll set it up for Aj Shadaporn. Watch out. That blocking of Plum Jit is brilliant. They're going to go another one. Plum Jit continues to deny, but that one, though, went wide on the right side of the floor for Korea. And so Korea scores a new 18 to 12. Service by Kim Soo Ji. As Thailand continues to go for form right there. Quickly, Yang Hyo Jin puts it away. And it was out of reach for Plum Jit. And that'll be a timeout called by Thailand. It's another uh, point where Korea has been scoring in succession. Their defense has left Coach Odd wanting. Let's see how that has challenged Plumjit and Ajcharaporn. It is a 19 to 12 blast here in the favor of Korea. Korea's got four points from Jung Oh Park. That service earlier. Not going back on the Korean side for now with that great play that stopped the bleeding for Thailand, who now improves to 13, but still is trailing by six. Looking at Kim Yung Kun preparing for the shot by Ad Sharaporn. Kim Yung Kun with the reception. They go over on the right side. Those blockers are doing what they can, but Korea with those uh, hard-hitting shots mostly coming from Kim Hee Jin there from the right front. It's been tough to deal and return that ball from blocks as now Korea, uh, Thailand has called the services of their outside hitter, Willapan, Willavan up in Payong. A miscalculated hit that Thailand is hoping they won't commit with Plum Jit in the service area. Always trying to hit it from that back middle. They'll set this up. She goes up again. The blocking right there is good against Jingo Park. To Kim Yun Kung. They dump it over. Good job with that dig right there by Kantong Malika. And a strong finish. That good dig by Malika. And then watch the very young good part, Pon Pong. Still catching up with a five point deficit, and they're gonna let that sail out. Point once more for Thailand. And Korea now not liking what they're seeing here. Giving momentum to Thailand will be calling for a quick one. And this huddle will probably change once again Korea's rhythm. Coach Lee Jung Chul squad always effective. When they come out of a timeout, they do want to stop what
Thailand has done. They've scored three straight. Let's talk about coach Lee Jung Chul. He previously previously coached the Korean national team in 2007 and 2008 and was reinstalled in 2015, where he led a silver, a silver finish of the Koreans in the 2015 Asian Championships. Here's the service to that left back row where they try to recover with that attack by Park Jun Ah. Over now with the dig by Kim Yoon Kung. Park Jun Ah once again. Good job by Thailand's Sitirak there. And a quick over. Ball still live. Beautiful rally we're seeing right here. Number four, Nook Jang Tat now doing work. Stuffs it over. And this is why Tat Dao is one of the feared blockers in this tournament. Number four, 13 stuff blocks coming into this match right there for Tat Dao. They'll set this up for a back row attack. It's good, but Korea will recover from this, sends it right back. The young Korn Kwon has been setting up nicely that time, though. Ill time by Plum Jit from the back row. As we take a look at that dig, awesome job there by Kim Hae Roon. Park Jong Ah, the 23 year old wing spiker that serviced earlier. That one sent over. Oh, quick, good decision making, ill decision, wrong decision on the part of Korea on that side. Wanting to set it up, but quick thinking right there by this young Gwed Park Porn Poon, making a great account of herself here in this tournament. They can send that over and they do, good uh, thinking by Wana. And that's going to go all the way to the back with a kill by Kim Yoon Kong. And that's already Korea's 22nd point right here, just when Thailand was able to somehow recover. And here are some key substitutions that we're seeing right here. Number 15 checking in for Yang Hyo Jin. We'll be seeing Kang So Wee right here, their outside hitter. She's gotten two service aces, and you can see why she'd be put in for a situation like that. But started with a good serve and ended with a strong spike right there by Kim Yoon Kong, who's number four amongst best spikers here. She's got 92 spikes with a success rate of 44.44%. Key substitutions again. They're going to first put out uh, Porn Poon and put in the more veteran setter in Nutsara. Nutsara sets it up. They'll go to Malika. This is how Korea will react with an attack from Kim Yoon Kong off of the left front. And when she's on that strong side, it's hard to stop her. Korea now set point. Thailand needing to catch up. How hard will this be? Absolutely difficult, especially when you have brilliant serving like this. That time, though, the heater just wide. Wana on that floor again, replacing Pianut. And some key substitutions also on the floor for Coach Lee Jung Chul. They're not gonna allow the substitutions as we will have Willavan staying on 
the floor and just like that Korea able to put that away and again those uh, key substitutions not being able to put Adjadaporn in uh, and leaving Willavan there not that Willavan is incapable it's just that uh, wasn't part of what coach Ott wanted to do and they have some discussions with our referee but that's all fine and good Korea though wins that set 25 to 19 and what a set that was for uh, world for this world number nine squad they are in the hunt for another Olympic ticket and Korea could qualify the Olympic Games with a win. Let's take a look at the statistics right here. Two aces that you've seen. 18 attack points, four errors though on the Korean end. Thailand not doing as well either. Two blocks for each side, but those 10 digs of Korea have absolutely been brilliant. Korea is looking for uh, to qualify for the Olympic Games with the win here or a 3-2 defeat against Thailand. It would be their 11th Olympic participation they have claimed the bronze medal in the past. It's been a long time since that 1976 Olympics and Korea could be doing it again. They actually have won eight of their last nine World Olympic qualification matches, including their last four. It was Yong Kun who gave Korea the set 25 to 19 with a spike down the line and Korea's 18 attack points um, has Ying Kung, uh, Kim Yoon Kung owning six of them followed by Park Jong Ah with four of those attack points and Kim Hee Jin uh, logging in five. Yang Hyo Jin with two so far also getting contributions from Kim Soo Ji. As far as the Thai opponents are concerned, they've had four attack points from Aj Chirapur and they also have relied on Onuma Sitirak who's registered two so far. Porn Poon on the other hand, the brilliant setting has been absolutely uh, been uh, nectar sweet but she did also score three attack points. Tadao also with two points here. Um, and Malika also has registered two. And apart from that, the two blocks coming from Korea have come from Kim Yon King and Kim Hee Jin. And here we go now with set number two. Thailand hoping that they'll be able to win this one to keep their Olympic dreams alive. And what a start it is for Thailand. Good start right here by Malika with Thailand owning that first point here in set number two. They're going to try it this time from that back row to evade those frontline defenders, but Thailand doing enough there to score their second point. And they're going to try to chase it down after Porn Poon is able to put that over. And Ashura Porn finish it off with three, three straight unanswered points right here for Thailand. Just hits it over Yang Hyo Jin. Yang Hyo Jin is very tall, 190 centimeters. Kim Yun Ah. Those blockers, though, not being able to deflect that inside the playing area. And the first point for Korea, won by Kim Yoon Kong. Oh, 
what a great service that was to the back right. Yang Hyo Jin, right where Sitirak Onuma was. Back to Anuma's spot right there. They go to Aj Sharapur and single coverage, no go. What a great block right there early by Hyo Hi Lee. Against Aj Sharapur, she done enough for it to go to Kim Yoon Kong side, who finished strong right there. Korea now scoring three straight after Thailand also did the same early in the second set. And now that back row attack from Onuma dug up. He'll set this up once again. Good job also by Horn Poon. They got to control this. And they'll do with a bump over, though. Free ball opportunity. Cross court kill through the defense of Kim Yoon Kong. Let's take a look at this brilliant work by Malika. to get Thailand back on that scoreboard. They'll set up once again. Kim Yoon Kong recognizing that there's an open spot, but she targets and hits it spot on where there was a defender not being able to dig that ball up. That's a lot of power behind that swing. We're tied at four apiece. Sitarak Onuma has been a target whenever the servers or even the strong hitters go up. But that time, though, Thailand with good control, able to recover and win their fifth point here in set number two. She sends that over, ball still live. Free ball there, good thinking by Onuma. Quick right there from the middle. Burying it deep by Kim Suji. Out of reach of Plumjit. And so we're tied at five apiece. Kim Yoon Ko, one of the best setters here, though, letting that fly out too much sauce. Now it's time to see how Aj Chirapurn will be doing this service. Good job by Malika with that ball up. Malika from that back row. And a quick kill right there. Good work by Sidarak Onuma taking advantage of that ill-received shot by Korea. As Porn Porn is back in that service area, looking for their eighth point right here to try to score in succession as well. Porn Porn decides to send that over. Good dig on Park Jong Ah. Oh, but there was an error on the part of Thailand, and this will be awarded to Korea. Now up on his feet. Coach Odd, after they've built good momentum, they don't want to give this up. A good work that they've started right here. Those blockers giving it a tough time. Porn Poon gets back into position after she received that, and down the line they go. Great work there by Sitirak Onuma. And she goes back, all smiles, after she hits it down that line. And it was through Olympians He Jin Kim's block. Thailand up 8-6, to six, scoring when it matters the most to try to do their country proud and the strong contingent that have come to, come to Tokyo to cheer them on. This is the technical timeout that we have here in set number two.
Korea looking to get back the rhythm that they enjoyed. They also uh, needed that quick break to talk things over. Let's see what Yang Yo Jin and all of them can do. They serve it up to Kim Yong Kung earlier, and they're going to let that sail out. But after a touch, and Plum Jit had to just watch that as it was out of her reach. Kim Hee Jin back in the service area. That rally won by Thailand off of that touch as we take a look at it again. Onuma ripping through Lee. He B's defense there. The setup by Lee Hyo Hee. Onuma once more. Good dig there though by Kim Yoon Kung. Porn Porn with a quick right there. Front middle with that kill. Hard earned point by Nukjang Tatgao. Evading the long arms of Yang Hyo Jin. Porn Porn though serves it to the net. But Thailand still up 10 to 8. Coach Odd looking pensive. Park, John Ah with that service. Coach Lee Jung Chul earlier looking still composed and cool as his players usually are. Let's see how they'll react to this attack though. Good up there by Park John Ah. And they're going down for that kill. Puts that ball down. Yang Hyo Jin, the number eight best scorer with 37 Spikes, 20 blocks, two serves, a total of 59 points for Yang Hyo Jin. She's a tough one to deal with. Good job there by Kim Hae Ruan. Pianot earlier. They'll send it over once more, and she's absolutely effective. Malika Kantong. She's number 16 among spikers. But she's showing here that her 32.23% success rate in the rankings heading into this tournament is not what she's just doing here. She's absolutely brilliant. Let's see how Ad Shadaporn will put it away. Couldn't break through that wall. She'll go again. Once again, those defenders, though that's deflected out. The number 10 best spiker went up three separate times. They're not going to give up on her. They're always going to find her to be one of their better options. And when she's on that tough spot for that point there earned by Korea, though, that was tough to read, tough to defend. And again, hitting it to Siterak Onuma, Kim Yun Kung knows how to break down that tight defense as you have Korea playing catch up only down by two. Number 10 hitting it off again. Kim Yun Kung to the back row. Even the good Pianut couldn't get in position for that kind of hit as Korea only now trailing by one. Coach Lee Jung Chul coaching hard right here. Yeah. Yeah. Ashada Porn ripping it through the defense of Lee Hyo Hee. As the taller hitter there took advantage of Hyo Hee being on that front right. Yohi sets it up. They'll try to finish that with Kim Yung Kwon, but that won't work this time. They had Heroon. 
Katao earlier to Adjarapor. Nothing that Heron could do. And Adjarapor is still doing a lot of work here. She knows what needs to be done. Off of that joust, though, fell on the side of Thailand. Plumjit also sending out over. Good dig there by Porn Puan. Right down the middle. They try to find opportunities too late for that dig as Korea wins that with Kim Yoon Kung. Just hitting it over the defenders where there was a big gap in that front middle spot. Lee Hyo Hee for service. Lee Hyo Hee has played for the 2011 Asian Women's Volleyball Cup and she was also there for the 2005 Grand Champions Cup. But now with Thailand getting another opportunity here, five to 12, they have after that point, Kantong Malika for service. She scored two points off of serves here. But that time, nothing that Plum Jit and company could do with that hard-hitting Kim Yoon Ko, who was determined to break down that defense, and she does with that cross court. Thailand just needing one more, but with Bae Yoon Na coming in, it could be difficult. She's absolutely effective as well. Bayun Na sets it up. We'll go for that attack there by Park Jon Ah. Kim Yong Kun roping. Park Jon Ah trying to take care of business, and she does. Korea needing just two more to send this in our second technical timeout. She's been key, Bayun Na. Point point with a setup for that back row attack there coming from Malika earlier. They dump that over. Plumjit with a control. Just within reach of Park Jun Ah. Earlier, Jun Ah! Ties it. As she went off balance but still managed to release a lethal enough shot to tie it at 15 apiece. Service to the back row. Malika just decided to send that over and they tried to prepare, but an opportunity there for Korea that they wouldn't pass up with an open spot right in the middle. And that was good recognition by Kim Hee Jin. Again, Sitarak Onuma coming short on that last one, allowing Korea to now lead 16 to 15 with the second technical timeout. Korea got four straight points here to overcome Thailand's lead here in this second set where you had Korea winning the first 25 to 19. Kim Yoon Kung once again in that service area, absolutely reliable. A reverse there by Porn Pong to plunge it. She's gonna go at it again, and a soft touch this time wins this point for Thailand. Thailand needs to win both of the remaining matches in order to keep a shot at, a, at uh, qualifying for the Olympic Games. But this will be a first. And with inspired plays like that, making up for what she wasn't able to do earlier, Sitarak Onuma scores off of that block.
and those blocks this time, Plumjit proving her worth as the fifth best blocker in this tournament. And she stuffs it right back down. As we have a timeout on the floor after that point one by Thailand makes it 18 to 16, Korea calls for a timeout. Korea looking to win five consecutive competitive matches for the first time since last year's Asian Championship. They won all of their seven matches en route to the final, which they eventually lost to China in three straight sets. But it's uh, heartbreaks like that that make the character of a team, and this one is full of character. They have such resilience and such strong hitters like Kim Hee Jin right there. Kim Hee Jin is the 18th best scorer. She's got 37 spikes, 20 blocks, two serves, 59 points. Talking about Kim Hee Jin, who will man that front line right there after this service to the libero. Here's a reverse. Kim Hee Jin once again put up by Pianut, but that one too strong. But there is a touch. Thailand scores anew. And they're going to be reviewing that, whether there was indeed a touch. And Coach Lee Jung Chul will call on this challenge. Teams are entitled to request challenges during play or at the end of the rally concerning the last action of the rally. And teams will keep the right to call another challenge if their claim is correct. And they can have up to a maximum of two unsuccessful challenges per set. As they still review the material here with our other technical officials, we continue now, or have determined, we continue now with the action after that review. Thailand with a point, Plumjit bumps that up. They send it over to Onuma. Good dig there by Kim Lee Jio Hee earlier. Plumjit bumps it over to the front. Onuma sends it over. They're going to go to the middle. And it wasn't in a good, a good spot for Plumjit to control that off of the reception. But what a strong hit that was for Korea as they climb back and just come within a point to tie this match in the second set. Kim Hee Jin. Good service there again. That back middle area is absolutely lethal, just like the attacks here from the strong side on Numa here, making a good account of herself. And swipes it off of the shorter defender in Lee Hyo Hee. Oh, and a quick right there. Hit that Dao. Nuk Jang Tat Dao did enough, and it was tough for Kim Yoon Kong and them to control that, even with Jung Ah chasing it down. And Thailand now could possibly win this set. They still have some work to do. Timeout Korea. Thailand with 30 attack points here. They have Onuma Siterak and Malika Kantong pacing, combining for 13 of those 29 attack points. Tat Dao with three also. And on the line, you have Porn Poon, who's got three to her name as well. Here's the setup job. And why not go to Yang Hyo Jin? Leo He sets her up well with this reverse right here. And it was right through the defense of Sitarak Onuma.
and they'll bringing in they'll be bringing in Yumhee Sun. She's the 11th best setter, and they're going to need to set up. They needed to set up Kim Yoon Kong. Kim Yoon Kong to get the momentum going on their side, needing one more as a timeout is called here by Thailand. And it's absolutely key for them to react and respond fast. Thailand so far has 30 attack points, 4 block points, and have scored 6 off of their opponent's errors. And that is the story for Thailand. Korea, on their part, though, have uh, had... 35 attack points, 5 over Thailand in this match so far. Korea looking to tie this with this service. They send it over to that back left and going for that quick attack there. You saw Kantong Malika going up. No one there. For that point of Korea, a hard-earned one from that middle attacker. Let's see how they were able to do it. No one there to challenge. Park. Yeah, uh, Yang Hyo Jin earlier as good part is again coming in. After that error earlier, Korn Korn, they rely on the veteran setter, but that one, no one in position to receive that as Korea takes the driver's seat. And a quick timeout here called once again by Coach Odd. He's definitely... He definitely needs to be careful. They're coming so close to winning the set. Sometimes it's just little things that you need to discuss to make sure that uh, you get all pieces working and they need Thailand needs that right now to put a stop on Korea who scored four consecutive oh and that's a service ace that is a service ace with Atshara Porn just watching it hit that back line key substitutions as Willa Van replaces Kongyot Achtaraporn again, Park Jong Ah for service. Willavan with that bump earlier on Numa's shot right there, blocked and stuffed right back for Korea. Set point with Kim Yung Kun, manning that front left defense. Korea looking to win the second set here and put more pressure on Thailand. Park Jona with that service to Willa Van. They go for that kill. Ball still live. Good job by Kim Hye Ruan trying to control that. That one wide. And Thailand still in the running here with their 21st, 22nd point. Sitirak Onuma. Oh, and that whiff, that ball still alive, coming from nowhere. They try to save that. Willavan sends that over. The blockers trying to do enough to change the speed of that shot earlier. Here comes a strong attack again. The blocker is doing well to try to hold down the fourth. That one, though, just over the block. And Kim Yoon Kung again finishes this set. Korea winning set number two, 25 to 22, and managed to stop Thailand's great run here in this second set. Will Thailand be able to hold down the fort, or will Korea win anew and qualify for the Olympic Games? They need a win here, or 
a 3-2 defeat against Thailand, they definitely would be happy with their 11th Olympic participation and Korea. The world ranked number nine, a higher ranked squad against Thailand has absolutely thrilled this crowd that you see here at the Tokyo Gymnasium. Coach Lee Jung Chul pleased with what he saw so far in the second set. They had two service aces, 19 attacks, two over Thailand. They managed to limit their errors, but still need to improve in that department and eight digs for Korea. They've absolutely been uh, challenge there in that second set. They have a total of 37 attack points. 15 from Yin Kung Kun, from Kim Yun Kung so far. Kim Yong Kun in their last time out was the top scorer with 19 total points and she's having to work hard and she's buckled down to take care of business here for Korea. On the part of uh, their last game against Peru, which uh, they won after losing the opening set 18 to, uh, 18 to 25. Uh, Korea went down to work and won the next three sets to put Peru, who still has a chance to make it to the Olympic Games, but it's going to be tough. They're in a tough situation, just like Thailand here, who needs to win this and their last assignment. For Thailand, they will still be meeting Peru in uh, tomorrow's uh, final uh, showcase here at the World Olympic Qualification Tournament and it'll be a crucial stage for them. We talked about Kim Yoon Kong. She's number three as best scorer, number four best spiker, number six best server, number nine best setter, and number seven best receiver. Absolutely a workhorse. She's one of those that does it all. The best player in their last game so far here at the start of this third set. Watch out for Kim Yoon Kong. If she scored 19 in their last, she's already at 15 attacks. Though that one wide for Kim Yoon Kong. Thailand scores again. It's a, another good start for them, just like in set number two. For Thailand, we start off this third set with Malika Kantong having eight point, seven points so far. Aj Chadaporn with eight points. She was waiting in that back row, but that was a beautiful cross-court kill right there by Kim Yoon Kong as we take a look at that bit of action. And it was through the defense of Nook Jang Tat Dao. And even the talented Pianut, who's uh, seventh best digger, she couldn't do anything about that hit. They go over with that service. And after she received that service, Kantong Malika went up from that back row to put it away. That setup job well covered right there by the frontliners of Thailand. Porn Poon. They set this up over. That block of Aj Shadapur, they managed to put it back. Good job by keeping it alive here. And what a battle that was. You have to note the efforts of that Dao earlier in this crazy battle. Watch how she was able to somehow get that back and really digging deeper the squad of Thailand. Hard earned third point there. That was again Onuma with that service. They send that with a free ball opportunity here. Ad Shadaporn sent it to the back row. That block again, Tat Dao. 
even the powerful hits of Kim Yun Kung was returned. And that now shows why she's in fourth ranked in terms of blocks. Kim Yun Kung, her plays well read here. Tat Dao able to make Korea pay with her front line defensive stance. Onuma there hitting it over to that back row. Tough to return for Park Jong Ah. Porn Poon sets it over. Porn Poon once again with a quick right there by Tat Dao. Good coverage by Point Point. They'll reverse it. And again, those defenders, though, deflect it out of bounds. And Korea wins a point by that hit by Kim Yun Kong, swiping off the defense of Tat Dao that time. Pia Nut for Wana on the side of Thailand. With a quick there, Tat Dao. Good job by Point Point. Free ball opportunity. Pia Nut. Again, Tat Dao. She's on a mission. That time, nothing they can do when Kim Hee Jin launches for a spike right there. She's got a top height of 300 centimeters when she goes up for spikes right there. Just did enough with that shot to go over the defenders and score a new for Korea, trailing only by one. That service once again, getting it over to where Onuma was. The ball still alive. Back row shot. Oh, and they recognize no one there to support Onuma. As they try to deflect the shot of Kim Yun Kong. It falls on the side of Thailand and we tie it at four with another attack here by Kim Yun Kong playing much better and more likely more of her numbers. But that time though, the hitters of Thailand got the better of the blockers of Korea. Malika Kantong earlier scoring a new winning. That last point for Thailand. Here comes Kim. Good opportunity here. Good job by Puan Puan. They'll set this up this time on the right wing. From that back row on Numa, miss hit. Onuma has played for Thailand in the 2015 Asian Championships, 2014 Asian Games, and even the 2013 Asian Women's Volleyball Championships. Plum Jit finishes it off. Side out for Thailand. And scores it off by Yuna. By Yuna, mind you, is number 11 in blocks right there but a missed opportunity by malika with that service error ties this game at six apiece here in this crucial stage set number three korea has already owned two sets between these two teams korea have won all of their world olympic qualification matches against thailand since 2004 the last one they won in straight sets will thailand be able to make a comeback here Plumjit definitely has that in mind. The team captain wanting to go after that slide, wanting to move up and go to Rio. They're in a must-win situation. This match, this set. Good job by Wana. Again, a misfire there. This time, Malika. 
catching net with that attack from that back row. Pianut back on the floor for Coach Odd here for Thailand. But for Coach Lee Jung Chul, he sticks with Kim Hae Run. or Nam, Ji Chu, Nam Jin Yum, as we have our technical timeout for Thailand here with a miss hit from Korea. ซ้อนไหนที่เราลุกแล้วแต่แต่ซ้อนตีเข้าทางฉีกตีเข้าลายนู้นถูกมั้ยเพราะว่าเค้าจะดีเฟนต์ยากโอเคทีนี้เรื่องของการบล็อกถ้าวิ่งของการบล็อกสตาร์ท
They still are up, but they gotta be ready for Kim Young Kun. They send it over to Pianut. And they had Adshut a point shot right there to be returned now. Good job on Numa this time, able to handle that well. But that shot of Adshut a point deflected and sent right back. Kim Hee Jin had a hand in that. Thailand needs more of breaks like that to be able to survive a determined Korean squad. But this Thailand playing hungry on Numa that time, putting it up, quick thinking there by Pianut, or rather Plumjit earlier. And they go up, but it's through the defense of Plumjit. They go to Adsharaporn. Good job by Wana. And Thailand wins this. Let's take a look at how Plum Jit was able to put that away, manage it, manages to put it through by Yuna. Service to right back always to Kim Yun Kong. And it's unfortunate that number 15, Malika, couldn't get to that spot and that ball just out of reach. Korea able to score and stay just within two. Expect good things from Bayuna there on that floor. She puts that ball up after Kunjit sends it over to their side with authority that time. There was a touch and this will be for Korea. Let's take a look at that back set. There was a touch there from the front. Bayuna again to Onuma. They go to Tat Dao. They set it up. A soft over at Shut Up Horn. Chases that ball down. Tat Dao with a soft touch. Tat Dao. Onuma. Couldn't control that opportunity. And Adshada Porn actually has been wanting to protect this lead pressure on Thailand. Onuma, Adshada Porn wanting to get it back and this time she swipes it off the defenders and breaks the ice. Thailand once again on top as we head into our second technical timeout. เพราะว่าพอมีนิดปุ๊บมันจะเป็นแบบนี้การตีเนี่ยตีให้อิสระแล้วทุกคนต้องอิสระในความคิดนะมันเห็นช่องได้เอาเลยเข้าใจป่
it's absolutely vital to keep going to point point. She's been doing a stellar job as Ashwara Porn is replaced by number 10, Willa Van. Let's see how crucial she'll be. And that ball not just out of reach of Porn Porn right there. She went for that dig. That now back on that floor as we have more substitutions this time on the side of Korea. They'll have Yung back, who replaces Yoki Lee. Another one for Pon Pon. Leaving the side of Korea frozen in their position with what Pon Pon has done to get Thailand's 18th point. Young and lethal, Porn Porn doing it, making a good account of herself. Willa Van sends it over, Porn Porn for the setup job. There was a point there that will be awarded already for Thailand off of that hit from the left front by Onuma. Opportunity for Thailand to get their 20th here. Porn Porn hits it over to Kim Yoon Ko. Kong just easy dink over. Good job of Porn Porn to get into position right away. They'll reverse it. The soft touch. She knew that she had an opportunity there. Wang Yun Ju with no one supporting Tat Tao right there. And the Numa. They're able to take advantage of Onuma being in front of her. And the score now stands at 19-18. Thailand still with the lead. Pon Pon for Numa. Kim Yun Kong with that first bump there. Onuma sends it over to the middle. Willa Van just bumps it over. Tat Dao doing a good job, putting a stop on the speed, but no one could put a stop on that hard to reach shot by Onuma. As we take a look at that right hand hit on the offhand side for Onuma for Thailand's 20th point. And you'll have Lee Hyo Hee on that floor, some important and key substitutions here. Oh. Speaking of uh, key, Kim Yon Kong has been that. Ripping through the defense of Kantong Malika to score a new for Korea, still trailing, but they are up two sets to none. Willa Van's shot returned right there by the blocker. Second time, no go, but a good dig right there by Heron. Point Pun reverses it. Malika earlier, good dig, ball! They're not able to do that with bodies on the floor. Pianot Panoy involved in that. Let's see how Kim Yun Kong shot there, really left everyone scrambling and we're tied for 20. Thailand, a needed break right here to talk things over. Thailand, 13th in the world, up against Korea, who's ranked number nine in the world. They're tied for 20. Their backs, though, are against the wall. It's going to be a tall order here for these beautiful, heroic ladies from Thailand, who's been absolutely stellar in this set. Let's see how they can hold it up, and that's going to be played out. And that's going to be a point for Korea. Yeah. 
And these ladies from Korea have been absolutely tough, wonderful to see them play each time out. That time, those, that shot absolutely brilliant by Willa Van. The 31-year-old outside hitter by Willa Van. They'll have Yupa, though, replacing Tat Dao. And Yupa, you know her. She can do it all except for that instant. She knows, Kim Yong Kong knows that Yupa came in cold. And so she'll be quickly replaced here by Tat Dao right away after she was uh, used for her ability for service. But before Tat Dao comes in, they'll need a good libero for this one. They had Pianot putting it up. Blumjit, they try to control with Onuma. That back row attack was gold there for Malika. Malika for service, the best server in the 2009 FIVB World Champions Cup. Oh, good job by the Libero Pianut. Rather, that was Juana. After that, Juana dig, and what a dig that was. And Coach Odd trying to keep it cool right here. Take a look at what she needed to do. And off of the block, after that hit of Will of Van, that ball just traveled across the net. Korea with a timeout, with Thailand needing only two. <laughs> Pressure on Korea. They do lead in attacks, 52 to 48. Five blocks, though, for them. Below what uh, Plumjit and company have done. Let's see how Thailand will be able to hold the fort. Malika in the service area. And they send it over. In the earlier, oh, wow, what a point one here. By Korea tying it with that last shot. Ball exploding on the floor with Korea. Getting the 23rd point. Good serve right there. Good job by Onuma. Another return shot over there. Porn Puan. That time it's return. Porn Puan sets it up. They go over as it grazes the net. A great break and a wonderful shot there by Malika. She's absolutely been brilliant. Willavan, Willavan. With that service to Kim Yoon Kong. Here comes the attack. Oh, and out of reach. Each squad needing two points here to win this set. A win in this set will be an Olympic berth for Korea. A win in this set will give Thailand, a few more sets to have to work on, and Onuma, watch out. She is determined. When she's on the offensive like that, she is one tough player. And she took advantage of Lee Hyo Hee in front of her. Plumjit, though, that service error might be costly for the squad. We're tied at 25. Stretching this set to its limits. Service by Park Jun Ah. Oh, denied by that defense of Kim Yun Kung. She's feeling it absolutely. And Thailand will be calling for a timeout. This could be a crucial stage. This could be 
the one final stand that they'll put up against Korea. Korea, match point. Thailand really pushing the Korean squad to their limits. This is the fourth time that these two have met. Korea is always on the winning end of the stick. They've won their last 11. Could they be doing it here and could they earn their Olympic ride? That Dao. They go to Onuma. Ball still live. Free ball opportunity. Here's the setup by Porn Poon. They go to Onuma once again. Whew. Wana is back on that floor, quickly replacing Pianut. You have Porn Poon, Willavan. Pat Dao, Malika, to try to finish off Korea here in this set. Oh, wow, with a 40. Kim Yoon Kong with a kill. Match point for Korea. Kim Suji, uh, check that. Yang Yo Ji earlier with that service. Malika again swipes it off the defenders. We're looking for the first to get to 29. Great service right there earlier. Here's the set by Point Point and a quick dump by Tadao. Oh, wow. Thailand was also able to push the Dominican Republic to a long set, which reached 26-28. They did that. Good job by Point Poon. From the back row they go. Good up by Kim Hee Jin. That joust will be won by Thailand. And the crowd goes wild. This pocket of fans from Thailand are up on their feet. What a dramatic finish to set number three, which ended at 29-27. And it really drew out the best out of these Thai players. The last time they met in the World Olympic Qualification Tournament in 2012, Thailand lost in straight sets. This time around, they dug deep. And they were able to stretch to their limits and win that wonderfully played, absolutely thrilling set number three against Korea. 24 attack points for Thailand, overshadowing the 18 of Korea. They do need to manage their errors. The digging of Korea has absolutely been stellar here in this game, but Thailand, wow, absolutely brilliant. And they're gonna need to do just that for set number four coming right up. See this crowd of supporters from Thailand who came to see their wonderful warriors come to play and try to win this and keep their Olympic dreams alive. They've come so far. Willavan, Malika, Tat Dao, and the rest of them have been 
absolutely brilliant. Usually you get those huge numbers from Ach Chadaporn, who's also been playing quite well. Ach Chadaporn so far has uh, contributed nine attack points, but it's Malika who's got 13, who's played absolutely great here. You also have Willa Van contributing three. Onuma with 12 huge numbers here, Plum Jit with five. Uh, and also you get six from Porn Poon and six from Tat Dao as well so far in this match. So Malika here is setting the pace for Thailand with her 13 attack points. From, for Kim Yong kun though, of Korea, 22 points already for her as far as attacks are, are concerned in their last win against Peru, which they won in three sets to one. Kim Yun kung was at 19 points. Those are not her regular numbers, but they were still able to draw out a win, and she was able to uh, play brilliantly in sets two onwards after she didn't get her usual numbers in Peru in that first set. Welcome now to set number four, and we start things off with Korea's service. That was care of Park Jun Ah. And a point, though, with Anuma playing her cards well to start things off here in set number four. Coach uh, Odd hoping to draw out the best from his team. They've got Porn Poon on that line. She's a 10th best setter, and she's been playing well here in this game. Those dump sets have been uh, great that time, though. She couldn't get into position to receive that hit from Yang Kyo Jin. Kyo Jin for that service to that back left where Malika was. Onuma looking a lot more determined here in this set. Free ball opportunity, Onuma. They'll go to Malika for that cross court. That now is the 14th attack point of Malika. Well done to the area of Park Jun Ah. Onuma for service. They send it over to where Nam Ji Yun was. Porn Poon to Wana. Free ball opportunity here. Ji Yun. Oh, nobody home. And that uh, coaching staff of Thailand reacting to how the defense allowed Bae Yun Na to score there for Korea Lee Hyo Hee with that service earlier to the back row. Quick kill right there from the top of the defenders that Dao. Key substitution here for Korea. They'll need Lee Jae Yong, the outside hitter. 19 years old. She's going to be giving that uh, needed energy. And speaking of energy, a lot of it behind Kim Hee Jin shot. Nothing that that Dao could do. They serve it over to Malika. Here's the attack from the young gunner, and that ball returned. Coach Odd keeping things steady here as he again replaces the Barrows. Juan and Pianut have been doing a great job for Coach Odd right here. That block, good enough, but ball still in play. Good dig right there by Malika, point point. Soft over by Willa Van. Again, the young hitter shot denied by Plum Jit. They go on the right side. Good job by point point. Juana over for that back row attack by Onuma. Oh, wow. After that ball skidded from the front to the back, they could not get control of that. 
as Bei Yun Na will troop to the service area. She has three service points coming into this game against Thailand, but Plum Jin easily puts that away. Side out. Will Avan sends it over to Kim Yoon Kong's area. That ball wide, but there was a touch, and there will be a challenge as we take a look at what transpired. It looked like it was down the line, though. Let's see. Or it looked like it hit the back line, though. And just on that line for another shot here for Korea to stretch this lead with Kim Hee Jin in that service area. She scored eight service points here in this tournament so far. There's the setup. They go to the young gunner. Denied once again that shot by Lee Jae Yong. And the veteran, Lum Jit Ting Kao. Returning it, and that ball finds the floor that Lum Jit service. Return, she bumps it over to Korn Korn. And it's tough when Yang Hyo Jin is there. She's the best blocker in this tournament. Yang Hyo Jin was brilliant in that arm wrestle against Peru in their last game. Yang Hyo Jin going up again earlier. So you've got a Yang Hyo Jin and Kim Yong Kun combination in front. Free ball opportunity here. Kwon Kwon to Onuma through the defense. Oh, wow, what a point that was for Thailand. Kim Yun Kung, her shot not able to penetrate through that wall by Tat Dao. Thailand with the service by Kwon Kwon. Point, point. Oh, they just crawl to try to recover off of that dig. We're tied at seven apiece. With Yang Hyo Jin for service. They go to Willavan earlier in the back middle after that service and what a shot that was. And she continues to dominate here for Thailand. Malika Kantong making a great account of herself as we take a look at how she was able to put that away. And more of Thailand here with this technical timeout, earning the lead 8-7. to seven. <laughs> บอกคงอ่ะดีแล้วต้องแล้วแต่ว่าเวลาบอลหยอดใครจะเกี่ยวใครจะเล่นให้เสียกันนิดนึงนะตอบอลให้ได้ดีเรื่อยๆโอเค
Sayuna tried to put that up, but that ball just wide off of the block. And Korea calling for a timeout here, needing to adjust after Thailand again scoring in succession. The Koreans are absolutely being tested here in this battle against Thailand. Thailand was fifth in the 2012 qualifiers. But they did, as was mentioned, they did lose to Korea in three straight sets. They missed out on the opportunity. They're hoping that they won't miss the bus this time around. But Kim Yong Kun again hitting it to where Onuma was. They score anew. Onuma is a brilliant scorer, great spiker, good server. But she's been the target. Good up right there by Nam Ji Yoon earlier and another kill by Kim Yoon Kong. As we take a look at how she ripped through the defense there with that powerful hit. Right in the middle of Wana earlier. Or rather Pian Yoon earlier in Onuma, but Thailand will win this point. Dao will be going for service. Best middle blocker in the 2015 VTV International Women's Cup. She was in the 2013 Asian Women's Volleyball Championship where they got a gold medal there from the back row. Onuma hits it over. Great speed. And how that ball traveled off of the hands of Onuma right there. It was hard for Park Jun Ah to control with a spin. Kat Dao with that service earlier. Oh, great kill by Bayun Na. Again, targeting that back area where Onuma is. Kim Yun Kung. 92 spikes, 101 points so far in this tournament prior to this game, but she's been scoring a lot. There was a touch, and this will go to the favor of Korea, who needs only one to tie this. Willa Van wanting to make up for that. They serve it over to Malika. Willa Van will go from the left side, soft touch over. Blocked there by Plumjit. She'll go again. This time it's through Willa Van and good thinking there by Kim Hee Jin. And we're tied at 12 with Thailand now pressing that timeout button. They need to think things through, not allowing Korea to win another set here and force this into a crucial fifth set. Okay, man. This squad from Thailand lifted by the supporters that have come here. And apart from, of course, the host country, it's the supporters of Thailand that have always uh, been a loud pocket here in this tournament, but that's down the alley there for that cross court, right at the corner where Kim Hee Jin was aiming for over point one. She gets the point, putting Korea in the lead right there, but an ill time. Shot there by number 13, though this call reversed. 
by referee Dudek. And there's still some clarification here. The ball under the net. And Plum Jit is discussing with du referee Dudek. And referee Dudek keeping everyone in check right there. And Thailand needing to just walk away and just prepare for Korea, who's now leading by two. The ball received by Pianut earlier. They'll set this up from the right side. Good job by Pianut. Willavan will set this up for Malika earlier. Pianut, Willavan will take it through the defense of Park Jun Ah and score new for Thailand. Malika for service. Talking about Will Evan, she's a 31-year-old wing spiker, the MVP of the 2013 Asian Women's Volleyball Championship and the 2011 version as well. Reverse right there. Good setup job by Port Wood, making it easy for Plumjit. Point Poon, 22 years old, the setter, has played for Thailand in the 2012 Asian Cup, a gold medalist there. That time, she wasn't nobody in position to try to win that back for Thailand. Side out here for Korea. Was having a lot of fun here in that last instance, but it is a hard-earned 15th point here for this Korean squad. Let's see if they'll continue on this polished game of theirs with Bayun Na earlier for service. Plumjit right where Bayun Na was. She wasn't ready for what Plumjit had for her. She was sliding down and buries it right to the floor. Spike deflected. And that rocket-like hit right there by Onuma gives Thailand their 16th point. And the second technical timeout now with them leading by one over Korea. Will Thailand continue on? Everyone contributing right here. They had some words to share with Porn Porn, who's been setting up for those wave of attacks coming from those frontliners. Plumjit has uh, been brilliant with the nice setup job. Really good hands there by Puan Puan. Willavan with that service. Here comes that attack. Good job by Willavan, Puan Puan. On Numa that time. Oh wow, what a hit. Korea's free ball. Point point sets up Lumjit again. Everything working well, wave after wave of attacks. Point point. Wonderful dime earlier. Good job by Willavan. Point point with the defense there against. Number 13 earlier that time, though, that hit just too much to handle by Yang Hyo Jin. Park Jun Ah and company, an opportunity to tie this at 17 apiece. Where they have Kim Hee Jin for service. And send it over where Willavan was. They'll go to Onuma this time. She buries it. Great touchdown right there. 
Good angle around Onuma's defense. Watch out for those middle blockers and Onuma able to penetrate through that tough wall that Yang Hyo Jin usually puts up. But that time she went right in between Yang Hyo Jin and Kim Hee and Lee Hyo Hee. Plum Jit, Thailand looking for 19. Point number 19. And Thailand will be earning this point right here. Plumjit back in the service area though. And hit net. And the team captain will think it through. As Pianut's back, Onuma, get ready. She's always a favorite. Park Jun Ah hits it over to Willa Van. Onuma from the from the left wing, hitting it strong here for Thailand's 20th. They're looking to win set number four in order to survive that fake. And then Thailand's Onuma finishing it off. Point point with that service. And that was off of the blockers. And once again, Korea keeping this game really tight. It's really tough. Even for Malika to stop Kim Yoon Kong. Here's the attack by Malika. Good coverage by Bayun Na. That time through Bayun Na, but that is out. Yang Hyo Jin for the service as Kim Yun Kung has some advice for the rest of the squad. Porn Porn to Tat Dao. Porn Porn sets up Malika this time and it's through the defense of Bayun Na. Bayun Na stays close to Lee Hyo Hee because they know they'll take advantage of her in that position. Thailand with 21. Will they be able to take this all the way to a win in this fourth set? Bayun Na good up by Porn Porn. Here comes that attack on the right side across court. For Malika, though, no touch, and that ball was wide. That was out of play as Korea tied it at 21 apiece. Service for Lee Ho Hee earlier. Oh, that second wave right there. Brilliant play by Willa Van. She took advantage of that single coverage. Gave it a good angle for the 22nd point. Service by Tat Dao. Oh, and that one just played out right there after. An ill-received return there by Park Jeon Ah. And a timeout by Korea, but Coach Odd will also be buckling down. Korea has 70 attack points compared to Thailand, 72. Korea has had 25 attack points from Kim Yoon Kong, 25, followed by Kim Hee Jin at 16 and Yang Hyo Jin at 12 points, then Park Jong Ah at 9. And of course, you also have Bai Yoon Na scoring 5 so far in terms of attack points. Um, you will have Huang coming in to help things for the Korean end, and that is the 
point or attack point number 25, 26 for Kim Yun Kung. Determined to put this pesky, menacing squad from Thailand away. Here's the service. They send it over to where Wana was. Willa Van swipes it off the blocker, scores one. Bayun Na couldn't do anything about that, neither could Lee Hyo Hee. Set point for Thailand. We've only had one five-setter, and that's Japan, Korea. But with too much heat behind that shot, Thailand let that slip away, but it's still set point for them. Bai Yun Na with the service. She's got three service points coming into this particular game. Bai Yun Na hits it over to Pianot. <sighs> we'll let you guys breathe a little bit. <laughs> With this timeout, we're tied at 24. Thailand needing this. Thailand registers their 101st point here in this match that's going a little above um, an hour and 20 already by Yuna back in that service area watch out for those middle blockers you have Yang Yo Jin there by Yuna where Willa Van was set up by Point Point from the back row Anuma set point for Thailand will they force it to a five setter Willa Van for service. They go to Kim Yoon Kong. They will set up for that attempt right there. That was Wang Yoon Ju. And she tries to block it, but it's through the blockers. And oh, wow. Oh, wow. They are up on their feet with this 26 24 Thailand victory in that dramatic set. Number four, and what a treat this is for all of the fans here at the Tokyo Gymnasium. We're going to the second fifth setter of this World Olympic qualifying tournament. In the only fifth setter prior to this, it was a match between Japan and Thailand, and it ended up 15 to 13 in the favor of Japan. That was when there were some crucial uh, points that uh, I'm sure this coaching staff from Thailand will prevent from happening again down the stretch that eventually uh, earn that dramatic win for Japan. Korea in this last set had 16 attacks but look at 21 on that statistics for Japan and the seven errors though uh, for Thailand rather and the seven errors is something that they need to put in check though. Three blocks for Thailand and 10 digs that tells the story of the, how they were able to dig up draw up this fourth set win. What an exciting match between these two have so much history uh, against each other and will definitely be at the edge of our seats.
Team Captain Blumjit has done a stellar job keeping everyone steady and in check. Willavan, Onuma, Tatdao, these are players that have actually been carrying and holding the fort as you have still in that player span. Ad Shadaporn. Ad Shadaporn is the top scorer here for Thailand. She's number seven in terms of scoring overall, but she is going to be watching this fifth set here from the players. Ben Kim Yoon Kong, number three in terms of scoring. She had a total of 101 points, and so far here in this match, She's got 26 huge numbers, and that is from the attacks department. We start off this exciting set number five. I'm Patricia Hezon, and we have Park Jun Ah, who will start this off for Korea. Korea needs to win, if not to give them the confidence that they need, but it's confidence that is oozing out of the side of Thailand. Nothing that Nam Ji Yun could do anything with that attack as Porn Pun serves it over to Nam. They get that kill and a whistle had been blown already and that kill registered there for Kim Yun Kong, who's number four in spikes. She had 92 spikes coming into this with a 44.44% success rate. service of Korea hitting it to where Malika was who went out for that shot and off the blockers who somehow managed to slow down the trajectory that one though no hands but it sends it for that power alley cross court right there Malika with authority as she finished and rips through the defense right to the middle rather Near that back end as Onuma is back in the service area. Number 13 in terms of scoring for Onuma. And this wave of attack by the Koreans. The triple block right there earlier. Two blockers against Kim Yun Kong. Willa Van sends it over. Good dig by Port Point. Still alive. Ball still good. Ball still good. Nam, they send it over for a kill by Kim Yun Kong. Wow. Let's see how they're able to do that. Porn Pun and the rest of them conniving to make sure that they kept it alive. But it was a hard point there earned by Kim Yun Kong for Korea. We're tied at two here in set number five. They serve it to Anuma earlier. The block, the block though ended on the side of Korea with that Willavan shot. Or rather with that shot. Coming from Willavan that gives Thailand a point of three to two. Here we go again with another strong shot and that double coverage by Thailand against Kim Yo Kun. Blumjit and Malika working to put up a wall against that tough hitter. This time she sends it easy over Porn Pun. And that balls. Not out, it's on the line. Coach Odd thought it would be out, but it uh, just hit the side of the line for Korea's third point, sending Kim Yun Kung back in that service area. Good job there by Kim Yun Kung with the dig. They'll go over for the right wing attack by Kim Hee Jin. The blockers once again. Mwali Willavan getting the better of them.
substitutions here as uh, coach Lee Jung Chul brings in Kim Soo Ji. Kim Soo Ji is number nine in terms of service. Oh, good job by Anuma. Impressive way to stop that from the back row. But they'll be able to score this with an error on the side of Korea. Thailand in a race here in this fifth set to finally win one against Korea. It's been such a long time since, since they tasted victory against Korea, who's ranked number nine in the world. And a timeout by coach Lee Jung Chul. Korea's got to control Thailand at this point, who's oozing with energy and confidence. Kim Yoon Kong trying to will her team back, and it's going to be a good chess play here between her and Plum Jit. Service for Malika. Oh, so unfortunate. Thailand won their opening game against the Dominican Republic, three sets to one. Then they lost against Italy the second time around. They won against Dominican Republic in straight sets. Thailand went on then to lose against Japan in that five-setter. And they'll try to win it again with point Bun. Another dump set right there. They're coming off a confidence-boosting win against Kazakhstan, ending the chances of Kazakhstan here at the World Olympic Qualifying Tournament as they lost three straight sets for Korea. They're hoping to put a stop on Willavan and them. Onuma's blocked. And Yang Hyo Jin showing why she's the best blocker in this tournament. But that one off Kim Hee Jin. And Kim Hee Jin is number 18 in terms of scoring 45 points, 32 spikes, five blocks, eight serves. Point point to Anuma. And they score anew for Thailand. Thailand needs to win this. And their last match will be against Peru. They need to win that as well. As we switch sides here, will Thailand be able to pull this win and pull the rug from under the Koreans? Korea could qualify for the Olympic Games with a win or even a 3-2 defeat against Thailand. It's the points that they're trying to earn, and they've actually uh, won two sets here. Plumjit sends it over to the other team captain, and they're not going to be able to chase that down with a great shot there from the left wing. Good stellar job right there off of that attack as she rose over the defenders. Good finish by Park Jung Ah. She's the 20th best spiker in this tournament. 30 spikes with a 29.7% success rate. Malika! Too strong, though, and they watch that sail out. That's just out of play. As Korea now just comes within one, scoring in succession in Thailand. Thailand needs some boost right here with this timeout. Thailand has scored 81 attack points, 10 blocks, a service, and got 12 points off of their opponent errors. Onuma now has 20 points. You're looking at Malika. She's contributed 18. Those two combining for 38 of the 81 is really telling. Willa Van has also been contributing. Didn't start this game, but has helped with nine attack points. And that service error is so unfortunate for Park Jung Ah. Remember, she had three 
points off of serves coming into this battle, so you know that he's, she's absolutely reliable. Unfortunate error there, though, by Point Point. That service was good. Ball dug up, still alive, and they managed to send that over. Great efforts by Wana. Oh, no. But what a point there earned by Korea. They're always so impressive, unfortunately, for the side of Willa Van and the rest of them. They watch that ball hit that floor on their side. As you have Yang Hyo Jin on that line, number eight in terms of scoring, has scored two serves coming into this battle. Point point to Malika for that cross court kill. Oh, wow. This battle between Thailand and Korea, absolutely thrilling. Just like this shot as she finds the edge of those defenders. Onuma for service, hits it over where Park Jung Ah was. Good up by Wana. Point Point sets it up. Ball return. Oh no! Willa Van. An error by Willa Van in that instance. But she's been doing a tremendous job, a yeoman's job here. But Thailand still has this lead. Will they be able to hang on to it all the way to the end? Malika with that hit. Good up by Kim Hee Jin. And over they go. They score from Kim Yoon Kong. We're tied at 10. And Tat Dao has been reliable in that front line, but couldn't put a handle on that. She's number four in terms of blocking. Point point to Tat Dao. Making up for that, but that one was wide, just out of play. And Korea now taking the lead. What a game this is for Korea. Will they keep Thailand at bay? ตอนนี้หน้านี้เนี่ยเขาเสิร์ฟแรงมั้ยเขาเสิร์ฟให้เล่นแล้วกูบอกแล้วเขาเปิดบอลนี้นี่หน้านี้หน้าสามเข้า
It was also decided in a five-setter. It was at the 2015 Asian Championship where Korea won 3-2. Now, will Korea do it again? Tatdao with that service earlier. Here comes the attack. Opportunity for Thailand to just need one more point. Will Avan once again put up by Korea. Here's the attack. Will Avan with that dig. And nobody home. Match point. They got to keep their nerves steady as steady as coach on right now. Oh, wow. Cut down still in that service area. What a great last point that was for Thailand. Cut down to win the match. Here comes the setup job. The block by Plum Jin. It's still alive. Here's Kim Yo Kun. Kim Yo Kun. Able, not able to put that up. Watches that ball land on the floor. <laughs> And what a win that was for...